In this video, I'm sharing a few tips on how to handle rejection by aligning with your inner compass. If you're here for the first time, my name is Kiran. Welcome to my channel. So I'll start with a confession. I was one of those people who could not handle rejections, be it professional or personal. Like every rejection for me was like an end of world scenario, pretty dramatic. But then I learned that it doesn't have to be this way, that there is a gentler way to handling rejections. I think most of us who struggle with rejections can relate to this image. You have a plan for life and then there is reality. Now most of us, when we are planning our life, we think there is a start point, an end point, and a straight line that connects them. And the more fixated you are with this plan, the harder it becomes to accept reality when things don't go your way. Because every time you hit one of these rock bottoms, you feel let down, you feel rejected. The truth is that rejection stinks. I mean, there is no way around it. But you know, people who are able to get over rejection are able to say, hey man, it sucks, but you know what? Better luck next time. And I know it sounds so simple and yet for the love of Christ, this wasn't the case with me. Because every single time I hit one of these rock bottoms, I remained stuck there. And this was something I wasn't even consciously aware of until I started stock trading. And I was shocked to see my reaction to losses, like I couldn't handle losses. And my reactions were so extreme that I had to put away my stock trading analysis and go and find a way to address my emotions. Because how you deal with rejection is no different than how you deal with failures or any other challenge in life. And what I experienced was that when you struggle with fear or failure or rejection, you also struggle with surrendering, you struggle with trusting divine timing and with vulnerability. So I had my fair share of rejections. Like in high school, I wanted to be a doctor and I studied really hard, but I couldn't pass the entrance exams. Now at that time it hurt, but looking back, it was one of the best things that could have happened to me. Because what I didn't know back then was that I am an empath. And had I become a doctor, I would have been miserable. And you know, this realization, this dawning and really coming to terms with this rejection didn't happen overnight, but it did make me look at rejections in a new light. You know, it made me realize that there are no wrong turns in life, that you're truly where you are meant to be in this moment in time. God doesn't make mistakes. And so today, when things don't go my way, I automatically tell myself, oh, you know what? This is God's way of nudging me in a different path. As I was writing content for this video, I did an interesting exercise. So I wrote down a list of all the rejections I've encountered so far, and I put them in two separate folders. One folder I called rejections that knocked me off. The other folder I titled rejections that weren't too bad to handle. And when I looked at my results, the main difference I found between them was that rejections that knocked me off were the ones where I was not following my heart, as in I wasn't aligned with my inner compass. Now the thing is that rejections are inevitable in life. Whether you like them or not, for majority of us, the reality looks something like this. And what I uncovered from my experiences was that it is much easier to get back up when you are in sync with yourself. And the best way to know if you are in sync with yourself, if you're aligned with your inner compass, is to ask yourself, are you in it for the right reasons? Not for your ego, not to impress your parents or your spouse or siblings or someone else. But are you genuinely operating in life, in work, from your heart space? And if in following your heart, you still get rejected, which is quite expected, it's either because the universe is nudging you on a different path or because it's not the right time. Because a lot of times things happen not on your watch, but on God's watch or as they say in divine timing. So I'll share an example of my YouTube channel with regards to rejection. You know, when I first started this channel, I barely had any audience. So imagine spending hours on a video 
and only to be watched by three people. In those initial few days, I felt rejected. But the only thing that kept me going was this inner knowingness that this was something that I was supposed to be doing. And so every single time I hit one of these rock bottoms, I was able to spring back up. And even now, you know, I don't know what will come of this channel. But one thing I do know is that in following that inner voice and really aligning myself with my inner compass, my YouTube journey so far has been totally worth it. And the reason I say that is because since starting my channel, I quit coffee. I overcame my fear of being in front of camera. And most importantly, I started meditating two hours every day. And this is something that I had been wanting to do for the past four years. And so now I don't get bogged down by rejections as much. You know, one of my meditation teachers always used to say, that in the end, it's not about what you get, but who you have become in pursuit of your dreams. And so my best advice to you is fall in love with the journey, fall in love with who you are becoming every single day. And then regardless of rejections or no rejections, you are well on your way to success. And now over to you. What is your favorite way to handle rejections? and what tools and tips have worked for you. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. I hope these suggestions were helpful. As always, please only take what resonates, discard the rest. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you in the next video.